All right, let's talk about stock images within Wix. One of the great things about the Wix editor is that you have access to stock photos, both free from Wix. You have Unsplash images, which is a free photo database um, built right into your editor, as well as Shutterstock, where you can purchase individual images from Shutterstock to use on your website. So let's get started. Like everything on Wix, um, when you want to change something, you're going to click on it or double click on it to select it. You can see what you have selected and then you're given all of the options that you have for that item. So this is a strip, which is an image that kind of, well, it's a, it's a block that fills a whole space. And one of my options is to change that strip background that will give me all of my choices for ways that I can fill that strip. I can have it be a solid color, an image, or a video. We're talking about images, so let's select this image option, and that's gonna pull up my media manager, where I can see all of my own site files that I've uploaded within Wix, so I can always switch those out. Um, but what we're gonna do is go down here to explore and take a look at our different options. Our first option is media from Wix. So Wix has um, images, illustrations, videos that you can browse for your website that are copyright and royalty free and i have found that these images are a little bit more unique than the unsplash images um, unsplash is pretty popular because it's filled with amazing photos that are free um, but what i've found is that within an industry you are kind of bumping into a lot of the same pictures. So if I can find an option through this media from Wix, I usually select that over the Unsplash unless I like the Unsplash better. So let's say we were looking for a laptop photo on a desk. Uh, you would just search here just like you would in any web browser and it's going to pull up different options that you can browse through and you can get more specific if you're not kind of seeing something that you like. And then when you do find an image that you like, let's say we do want to try this one out then you're just simply going to click it and then um, insert it into the space. This is a strip, so it's going to kind of fill the space, as you can see. If you did choose a stock photo and on a strip and it fills the space and you're like, that is not how I want it set up, go to your settings over here, and then you can play around with where that image is positioned. So you can kind of see what it looks like if you select it up or down, um, left or right, and that is one way to kind of play around with the way that the image fills that space. Um, so let's undo this, get it back to the original photo that's meant to be there. And then I'll give you an example too of changing an image, um, just kind of an individual image, not on a strip. So you'd go in your editor to the spot where you want to change the picture. This is an image right here that's kind of in a little frame that's a different shape. Um, I'm double clicked on this picture to pull up my options. I'm going to click change image. And now let's look at unsplash. So um, this is a headshot. So we'll just type in headshot. Not that you would ever use someone else's headshot. But you know, why not? So we'll select um, this headshot and then click choose image. And you'll notice that when I've selected it, it's going to fill this space. So whatever image you're replacing, it's going to, to fit the same parameters in terms of if you have a frame applied, if you have a filter applied. Um, if you do want to change the way that this is kind of set up within the space, you would then collect or you would select this crop button here. And what that's going to do is pull up the image and show you, um, you know, all of your cropping options. So I can move it up, I can move it down. If this was an image that was like really zoomed in or zoomed out, you can zoom in or out. Um, so that's how you would do that. Let's undo that image. And then um, let's take a look really quick at Shutterstock. So again, this is a strip. It's got two columns, one column on the left, one column on the right. I'm gonna select this column on the right and that gives me the option to change the column background. This is very similar to changing a strip background. When I click on that, I'm given my settings and my options. I'll select image right here. And then let's go to Shutterstock and take a look. When you're purchasing an image through Shutterstock, so again, maybe let's choose a laptop image. You'll notice um, 
the images are going to be different than they would be when we search for this same keyword in media from Wix. And let's find a image. We'll choose this one. And then, oops, sorry. Let's choose, let's select this one. Why not? Um, you'll notice when you select it, you're given the option. You can see the price right here. It's $2.99. So you're also, instead of seeing um, select image right here, you're given the option to buy the image. So you would click on that buy image and then you're basically making a purchase through Wix. So if you already have a payment method um, saved within Wix, it's going to pull up those uh, payment options. And if you don't have a payment option or already uploaded into Wix, you can fill out and then kind of purchase it. So it's just like making a purchase. Once you do that, it's a one-time payment. You own that image and you have the rights to use it. You're not charged more than once. Um, so it is a great option for utilizing some stock images right within Wix without having to either pay for them if you're using media from Wix or if you are using Unsplash or to only make that one-time purchase so that you're not having to have a monthly subscription to Shutterstock. So I hope that that helped and that it's kind of widened your options for using stock photos on your Wix website.